Hello my peeps, it's Tracy Stewart here, the paper pusher, and I'm here tonight to answer a question. Sometimes it's just easier to say it than type it. You never know what you're going to get when you ask me a question. Um, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough, I'm going to give you a little extra information, which you would get no matter what um, when you ask me a question. But we're going to find the online exclusives, but I'm going to show you the quick rundown on the website because I'm not sure I've ever spent a whole lot of time ever showing anybody where to find things. And there's a lot of stuff going on right now, and that can show you the easiest way to find each one of the things. If you read my newsletter today, you'll get more details on each one of these things. I'll just show you where to find them. So here's the Stampin' Up! website. Each country has its own. Ours is stampinup.ca. You'll notice that if you follow any of the links I send you, it will actually put you directly into shopping with me. With me as your demonstrator, I'll know when the orders come in. I'll see them help for group orders, follow-up, stuff like that. So you kind of want to make sure that's at the top. <laughs> now, let's start over here and we'll go backwards because, hey, that's how I roll. Uh, up in these four categories up at the top, we've got join. Right now, awesome join special going. Do the math. Best deal ever. You know the drill. Here's one of the places you can go. If you follow the link in the newsletter, it will automatically include me in the mix as, as like your team leader. But... Um, you can also just start here and hit join. It will ask you for a team leader. I would be honored if you pick me. You can pick any demo. But you only get one chance, so pick well. The next category over, specials. So right now, one of the things going on is the designer series paper sale. If you would like to look very quickly and find out what's going on, this is the fastest way to do it. The other benefit to looking at stuff online is... The paper that's on sale, and we'll just pick the first one that comes up, Le Shop, um, it will show you a picture of all of the paper. Like this first image is really all of the shop. But if you go and you click down the little extra photos on the side, it will show you what's on each side of each sheet of paper. Now sometimes if you're trying to decide, maybe you don't like one side of the paper, I'm not particularly fond of this piece, but I love this side. So it doesn't matter, because chances are this side's never going to see the light of day. Now, for the people who are not enamored with the little shops, but like patterns, here's the back side of that same piece. And they group them together so you can see both of them at, all the time, right? This is one side, the back side of that same piece. Because if you decided, oh, you know what, I need to make 12 projects, um, I can get six per, or three per sheet, I don't know. So I need four sheets. I'll use two of these sheets and two of these sheets. Well, you can't, because this is the same two sheets. <laughs> Right, so it helps to know which is on the back side of which, not just what are the patterns. So this will help you with that. Um, it does show you what items are bundled. Um, when new bundles first come out there, you get by buying the stamp set and the die or the stamp set and the punch, um, you save 10%. There's also ink bundles. That's like the ink pads. You can buy all 10 from a color family or all five of the in colors. And by bundling them all together, you save 10%. Stamp blocks also... I think it's one of each size actually if you buy them all together you get them as a bundle you save 10 percent um if you want to just quickly find the other bundles you can find them here um you can find them in the last section i show you as well and then the clearance rack uh this is stuff that has been retired there's usually a bit of a gap in between when it retires and when it shows up here and then it's here no idea how much no idea how long it's going to last anywhere up to 80 percent off i think is is the different things you can see the different prices some things are dramatically drop this went from 12 to 4 like and some things are lesser it, it it is what it is there's not very often that there are stamp sets on here um these ones appear to all be french now that i look nope that one's just an imagery one um this was one of those rare occasions where they put a bunch of stamps on all of a sudden um dies and punches tend to go fast there's lots of embellishments anyways that's the clearance track what's new now, what's new, this new arrival section, um, I'll talk about sorting when we get to online exclusives, but I haven't paid enough attention to actually see how long something is considered a new arrival. Right now, it's showing you the newest kits, the newest dies from Paper Pumpkin, that's this one. Uh, it was a little add-on, it's not like they always have them. Um, some brand new merchandise, <clears throat> and then it starts to get into just all the new products in the annual catalog. So... When the new online exclusives come out, I will pay attention because I don't know if they simply go to their own section or if they show up here as well. And then beginning of September, 6th of September, I want to say, the new 
holiday mini catalog will come out, those items will then show up in here. Now, when they show up, does this bump out this catalog or does it just drop them down? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but I will tell you that the newest stuff, you can find it here. <clears throat> in this case, you can also find, and I say this just because I love to say it, Texturas Naturales, um, which is the first stamp set Stampin' Up's had in the first, first stamp set, first Spanish stamp set they've had in, I think, 20 years, way back before I started. They used to have a separate catalog that had some Spanish stamps in it. Um, and I, it got discontinued. I'm not sure exactly why. There must be a demand or request for stamps now because um, they've come back with this in the North American markets. You can get the same paper, this awesome trim, these lovely dies, and then the imagery of the stamp set is the same whether you get the English version or the Spanish version. But there's a Spanish stamp set with these sentiments, which are close to what is in the English sentiment, but not exactly. They've made them... Um, more culturally appropriate, like things that are more likely to be said in the in the Spanish speaking, you know, culture than what necessarily like what we might say. Um, I did watch Sarah did the the CEO of the company. She did a video the other day, and she had a one of the product ladies on, who I think she told me she was from Salvador, El Salvador. Is that what she said? Um, anyway, she was explaining some of the stuff. So it is, a, it is a cool stamp set and I'm very happy to have it. Uh, the idea is that if enough people buy it and like it and ask for more, they will come out with more Spanish speaking sets. Um, if not, this will, might just be a one-time try. But anyway, so that's why it's single out in the new section. So here's the big section, menu. Now, when you click on menu, you will notice that you also have the options for what's new in the specials. The shop by here will let you filter out by color, by product, by different things. The best way to do it is just to go play. <laughs> That's how you learn about that section. Now, here's some of the main categories that people shop. So you can go, and I do this at least once a month when a new kit comes out. I just go over, I hit on the kit collection, and I go right straight to the kit collection, right? It, they're sort of like the favorites of there. If you hit view all, as I did the first time, I thought I would get a whole bunch of circles showing me all the categories. Nope. It gives you every product, excuse me, uh, the hiccups all of a sudden, in order of item, pretty sure. So we don't want to do that. that I mean, that's a lot of products. You want to look at every single thing available, there's your go-to, but you know, grab a coffee and walk off some time. <clears throat> Here's where we want to go most of the time, to the shop products menu. When you do this, it breaks it down into categories and gives you all of the categories that it's broken down into. Then all you have to do is scroll down a little bit and there's our online exclusives. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple tidbits about the online exclusives because we all learned the hard way with the circle punches. And and it appears, now that I've now that I found out the information on this particular like section of the menu, I think it is the same in all of the sections. This section is sorted by item number. So the newest product, so this new kit just released on the 7th of June, newest product has the highest item number. It shows up first in the list. The oldest product has the lowest number shows up last in the list. Sometimes I wish things were just alphabetical. Sometimes I wish things were, but it's by item number. And, it, and I guess most of the time people are probably looking for what's the newest. Um, I have put in requests, like people can always give feedback to, to stamp it up and ask them for things. I would like it if in the online exclusive section, you could filter by product. Right now, you can filter some stuff having to do with stamp sets and stuff, but you can't say, show me just kits, show me just stamps, show me just embellishments. I would like that option in here. Maybe one day they will do it. They are um, currently doing a whole bunch of behind the scenes stuff and re revising websites and stores and they're rolling it out globally. Ours is coming up, like the Canadian market, or maybe it's all of North America, is coming up soon because they've been sending us more emails about stuff. Maybe that will happen. For now, there is some limited um, things you can do with this to, to like scan things out. But if you know that the newest is at the beginning, that kind of helps. Now, when the stuff first came out, um, a lot of us missed the circle punches. Why is that, you ask? Item number. I'm just going to go right now and skip to four. So when these first came out, 
I saw all the new stuff that was on that first page, which was the stuff that came out with the March release. And there was, I don't know, 15 products came out, 20, I'm not sure. And, and they were all right on that very first page. <clears throat> then you start scrolling through and you get into kits. Now there's a bunch of stuff on here that wasn't here at the time. So you start scrolling and you get into kits. Now I have all the kits. I, I, I love the kits. I get every one of them. Um, so once I got into the kits, I was just like, oh, okay, where's kits? I don't need to keep scrolling. Because the kits don't show anywhere else, they are considered online exclusives, right? So I don't even know if people noticed that the kits collection and the online exclusives were the, like that you could find them in two places. But here's the thing. At the very, very, very end of the last page was the circles. Because the circles are returning products. They used to be ordered. I have them from when I first started. And then they retired. And as Stampin' Up! has always said, if a product is really popular, it might come back. If there's enough demand for it, it might come back. Just because it retires doesn't mean it will never come back. Now, certain things don't ever come back. Um, but certain tools have been known to come back. So, for example, this punch is 133782. Now, all the new product numbers start with a 16. Right? I don't know if they've got to 17 yet. Let's see what this number on the kit is. So... If you didn't scroll all the way to the very bottom, and this is how we all learned how they sort this page, is because everybody was like, they're circle punches, what do you mean? And everybody went looking for them, and well, why are they at the end? Now we all know. So yeah, we're only at 162. But we are, what is this, 30,000 products from when that other, from when those punches originally came up. The other thing you're going to notice, and I'm going to have to go back here really quickly, because I noticed it when I was over here. So pretend we're on the online exclusives page still, Okay. On the online exclusive page, one of two things is going to happen. You're going to see a stamp set. Let's use this, for example, which means it's available. You can buy it. Or you might see this that says currently unavailable. And when you click on it, you're going to notice there's no add to cart. It just tells you it's currently unavailable versus this one, which is available and says add to cart. Currently unavailable in the online exclusives means that they have sold out of the current stock, more is ordered, it will be restocked. How much, for how long, that information is fluid. Um, it's I, not just that they're not, they don't tell us, It's I don't think it's all finalized. Um, I think it has to do with sales and product and other things that come out and is there a demand and is there not and all the different decisions that they make. They plan catalogs two years out, they plan, there's a lot that goes into it. So. We don't really know, but currently unavailable means they don't currently have any, but they're getting more in and they will restock. So it will continue to show on the web page. If you are on the online exclusives page, let's say you're looking today and you see, I can't think of an example of a, like an actual example of one, but you go on there and you see a stamp set and you think, oh, I like that. And you go back a couple days later and the stamp set does not show up anymore. It's gone. Because once it sells out, if they have no plans to restock it, they just take, they just turn the number off and it's gone. And, and it happens as fast as this is now sold off, sold out, numbers turned off, gone. So if something you saw in here before, if it's gone, it's not being restocked, you missed the window. <laughs> so my best advice for online exclusives is if you see it on here, don't wait. <laughs> and I know that's a total enabler of me, but just don't wait because... It may not come back. And some of the stuff that does come back comes from farther away. And it takes a while to get there. So there's your walkthrough. I see my son and dog coming through. So it's about to get noisy in here. And that's my time to wrap up. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, drop me a line. I will see what I can do to answer. I hope this is helpful. If not, send me a message and I will elaborate. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.